Hey Fight Fans, Bob Rodriguez here once again for the Movement Network and we are talking boxing. Please don't forget to subscribe and go head on over to the uh, Patreon page, look me up. Bot Rodriguez for the Movement Network and help out if you can, greatly appreciate it. Today on Showtime Boxing, we're gonna get Clarissa Shields versus Hannah Gabriels. And I wanna make this video to predict the fight before it happens so that most of you guys will start saying, hey, it's easy to predict the fight after it happens. Well, you know what? I'm gonna predict this fight before it happens. Let me go through the stats real quick. I'm gonna Clarissa Shields, T-Rex, 23 years old, Hannah, 35. Um, height, almost the same. These two are extremely, extremely compatible. The only difference is the age and the fact that, um, let's see, uh, the ring experience is a huge difference. First, I'm gonna go through Hannah. Hannah, 18 fights, 11 KOs, one loss, which was by KO. And um, actually, it was a TKO and one draw versus, uh, I didn't, don't, Rachel Clark. That was her name, Rachel Clark. Now, here's the thing. This girl, Hannah, she's a cutie. She is. I'm looking at her picture right now, and Hannah is a cutie, a really cutie. She's from Costa Rica, so she got the Latino heat. Um, she possesses some power. 11 KOs out of 18 fights, that's not bad. Especially when you put one and one after that. She's done 108 rounds, but the question is, has she ever been in the ring with a fighter like Clarissa Shields? I don't think she has. I don't think so. But that doesn't mean she can't stay, uh, stand up to the challenge and overcome the challenge. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think so. I don't think she's gonna be able to put up with T-Rex. Uh, now, here's the thing with uh, Clarissa Shields. Clarissa Shields only has, what, 31 rounds, five fights, two losses. Now, I'm gonna get criticized for this, and I know that, but she's, the, you know, she is, whether you want to or not. I consider T-Rex to be the, um, Lomanche the female Lomachenko. She got two, two, she went to the, to the, um, to the Olympics twice, won twice. Um, the girl doesn't know how to lose, let's be honest. She's a heck of a good boxer. Um, I wanted to have a little pop, a little more pop in her, in her punches, but unfortunately she doesn't. Now, T-Rex, it's one of those fighters that once she gets hit, she throws everything out the window and starts swinging. Is that good or bad? We don't know yet. We definitely don't know. I know this much, fighting somebody like Hannah, you better have self-control. Hannah got some pop in her fist. Now, I don't think this fight, I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, I don't think Hannah, see, I'm, I'm in the fence. I don't think she's gonna stop Hannah. I, I, I know she's gonna give her a beating. Maybe the corner might stop it, might. The ref might. I don't think that's not gonna be one shot punch. She's not gonna put it down. I don't think so. I think Hannah is very durable. But I see this fight ending uh, with T-Rex winning the fight. Ultimately, I don't know how she's gonna do it. She might stop her. That's not out of the question. The corner, uh, the corner might save her. The ref might save her. Or it might go the full fight and uh, T-Rex is just gonna beat the living hell out of her. Well, that's my prediction. I predict T-Rex getting the W, but if you want me to be a little more clear with my prediction, I do think it's gonna be a TKO. It's gonna be a technical KO. All right, Fight Fans, thank you for uh, listening to this podcast. Catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy the channel. Head on over if you need some motivation, if you need to talk about money. If you want to listen about, uh, listen, we talk about motivation, we talk about money, we talk about discipline, we talk about, um, well, we have a comedy show, The Bart and Brian Show, which is awesome, and we, we also have another show called Talking with Bart. We interview a lot of successful people out there to help us, um, help us succeed in whatever it is we want to do in life. Thank you guys for listening. Catch you guys in the next one, and it's not just boxing. There's other great things out there.